We are the Goodmans, and I'm Brittany. This is Crew. This is Colton, and I'm Chad. Colton, I just turned three. I picked him up from daycare one day, and I asked the teacher, hey, what happened to Colton's eye? And she was like, what are you talking about? I was like, his eye, it's, it looks a little, like, poked out. And she was like, oh, I didn't notice it. She was determined to have somebody give her an answer. They did say that they thought it was cancer and that they were sending us to Duke. He went to Duke that night, and I don't think it really hit me until he was at Duke and it become reality. Colton was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma, sarcoma, a life-threatening cancer, which is a cancer that comes up uh, from muscle tissue. It's seen mostly in children, and it can come up in any part of the body. Treatment for rhabdomyosarcoma uses chemotherapy and then some combination of either surgery or radiation. The location of Colton's tumor made it impossible to do surgery without um, serious disfiguring results. And so we chose to use radiation treatment in addition to the chemotherapy that Colton received. And at present, there are no um, proton beam radiation treatment centers in North Carolina or South Carolina. So patients that require this treatment at present still have to go out of state. We chose Philadelphia, but it is hugely inconvenient and it is a, a lot of work for the family. Colton obviously had to have treatment, so um, didn't know where we were going to stay, how we were going to do it, how we were going to afford any of it. None of it was easy. <laughs> I had to stay home and work. I mean, we had the bills in Philly now hitting. We had still our bills here hitting. Them going to Philly and having to worry about an apartment for them to stay in, uh, groceries, the utilities, every the expense that comes, you've already got enough expense going on with what's going on. It's a real challenge for families. Going through cancer treatment, as one can imagine, is scary enough for a child, but to be in a completely new environment, and a new environment where they don't have access to all their family and friends and other support people, um, it is a real big challenge for our families. I know I'm sending them both to qualified providers, but I hate that disruption in the overall continuity of care where they're seeing familiar faces and are become quite comfortable with the treatment that they've been receiving here at Duke. From somebody that had to spend eight weeks away from his whole family, it would have been amazing to have one closer to home. I think if we had a proton center at Duke, this would be wonderful for our patients and our families. It would not only allow the state-of-the-art, high-quality care to be given here, but it would um, also be a great referral source for other hospitals in the region. So it's not just our patients that would benefit, but we'd be able to offer this great care to other uh, uh, patients in, in North Carolina, South Carolina, the surrounding states. Duke opened up a lot of doors to other people yeah. to try to help us. They just care for him, for our family. Dr. Wagner is an amazing human. He really is forever grateful. Could never repay amazing. the people that has helped us along our journey. 